What did he find? What did he find? Oh my gosh, it's a thrifty find. Time for another episode of Tom's Thrifty Finds. Today, we're talking lunch bags. Remember these? Back in your childhood. From 1988, it says the date. This one is specifically Grimace. It's got an apple, it says yum. It's got everything you need, it was 99 cents at Goodwill. It's a pretty cool find because it's in really good shape. It's got that smooth plastic. Oh yeah. In fact, it came alongside this. So in 1988, you got the hard plastic container and you got the soft plastic container. Something in there. Whoop, whoop. Oh, this one I found at the Goodwill bins. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. That was probably less than a dollar. Or maybe around a dollar, given the weight. Look at this dude. Just hanging out. Having a good time. Oh. It smells fine. So yeah, like I was saying, these came with crayons, I guess. Or you could get them with crayons. I found a complete set on Amazon for $40. Looks in that. Tip top, tip top, notch and notch and it looked good. So yeah, I mean, this brings back some fond memories of my childhood, going to McDonald's, trying to get all the cool toys that you want to have in your life, getting those happy meals. That's what life was all about. Now, now what do we have left? Nothing. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. Am I kidding? Check this out. This is another thing I found in the wild, in the wild that I used to have growing up. This was two bucks at Goodwill. It's baby Fozzie the bear. Y'all remember this one? He's got a little hat on. He's a little baby. He's got a scarf. I think these, these came out around Christmas time. But yeah, these were 1988, but this tag says 87. So we got a we got a couple dates going on here. It was spread out. You know what? This guy's awesome. He's in really good shape too, for being found at Goodwill. I don't see any stains, rips, or anything. I mean, oh, smells fine. And I also found these at the Goodwill bins. Spider-Man toys from 1995 Marvel Entertainment. We've got Doc Ock here and we got Spider-Man of course. So that was kind of neat to find. So being at the Goodwill, Goodwill bins, these are probably under a buck. You know, they're so so lightweight. <laughs> so there's not too much to go into about these in terms of like history. So I thought I'd just talk about some of the awesome toys that I loved growing up. First of all, I know there's a lot of McDonald's toys out there. You know, I can't talk about all of them, so I'd talk about my top three, or my most memorable three, anyway, and then maybe some honorable mentions, you know what I'm saying? First up, McNugget Buddies. Come on, I know you had them, they were cool, they were a lot of fun, they had belts you could change, they came in a variety of different uh, career paths. You got the police one, there's like, construction worker or everything. You got a little bit of everything in there. Those guys were really fun. I remember playing with those a lot as a kid. It's squishy squishy. And I think I remember actually at one point I could fill them with water and squirt them out from the bottom because there was a little hole. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you ever did that because I think it was a thing you could do. Next up, changeables. That's right. These were the ones that would transform. How cool were these things? They had the robot ones and then the dinosaur ones. They kind of reused the assets a little bit. I mean, you got the same um, models, but they just transformed into turtle uh, turtles, transformed into dinosaurs. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> In terms of the dinosaurs, my favorite was the pterodactyl. I mean, it was so cool f flipping out those wings. Woo! I'm the pterodactyl. And for the robots, it was the fry guy. I don't know why, but I just like pulling apart the fry pieces and you pull down the legs and his head turns up the fries. He's the fry guy, hey, I'm the fry guy. Oh, I actually have one of them here. Check it out. Isn't that a beaut? Let's open him up. A little dino action there. <laughs> uh, I think I'm either loopy or I got a lot of energy. I don't know what's going on, but I think you might like it. Oh, and last but not least were those pull and release like little cars and they came with the McDonald's mascots but they also came with Disney characters and these I just remember playing with a lot specifically the Donald Duck one in the train 
that was a lot of fun. Just pull them and then release and they would fly! They would go so fast! I loved it. <laughs> Jerry, did you love it? Was that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. So yeah, I think in terms of my memory, those three are the most memorable to me, but there's some more I want to mention just because they're so cool that I couldn't, I'd be remiss if I didn't. First up, Super Mario 3. I mean, you got all the Mario characters. Who doesn't like Super Mario, uh, Mario Bros? I mean, come on. And then Fraggle Rock. Those were little, they were in little cars, like vegetables. And then Batman Animated Series. Oh, those were also very cool. One of my favorite animated shows in the world, Batman Animated Series. So top notch, wicked good. I'm talking wicked good content. Yeah, I remember specifically Poison Ivy. You can push it and the little, had yeah, the little like Venus flytrap thing and go. Yeah! Do I have a bonus? Oh, I do have a bonus. It's not with me. It's in my memory. So Jerry, please roll it now. I remember having all of the Batman Forever mugs that came out. I remember those mugs. They were really interesting and well made, I thought. I particularly liked the Two-Face mug because the coins were the handle and I thought that was wicked cool. So if I was to look these up on eBay, they're selling or selling online anywhere from four to like 20, 30 bucks. They're all over the place. So not sure why anybody would want one. I'm not sure why I bought them because I am a, I, 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 I like to buy things that are interesting to me and unique. This has been Real Moments by Thrifty Tom. All right, that's it. Like and subscribe if you like this. If you want to see the channel grow, like and subscribe if you like this. All right, peace be with you. Thrifty, thrifty, Tom, thrifty finds. What'll he find next? I don't know. Guess you'll just have to watch the next show. Tom's thrifty finds. Doo -doo. Yeah.